DJ. New video. Welcome back. That was a DJ, you know. In a past life. For how long? DJ Braddy Burt. For how long? Five minutes. Braddy Burt. No, I was a DJ in Nam. In back in Nam. Oh, was it right? He was the one on the who table. You, yeah, I was just he was say, the one on the table turning the helicopters playing uh, unfortu- uh, Fortunate uh, for, Son. Yeah, who do you think made the Fortunate Son a thing? <laughs> this fucking guy right here. Wow, you don't know what? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that song aged well. Why? You Why don't What's wrong with that? I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Andrew's nuts. Andrew's crazy. He's, He's a little high right guy. now. Oh, you wow, have baby? Alex. Uh, no. Drugs are for kids, man. Don't be a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Drugs are for kids, did you just say? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobody caught on. <laughs> I, I I heard it, but I was like, did that just happen? Did he just say that? Like, <laughs> Drugs are for kids. It made me question reality for a second. <laughs> just like Peter, uh, Spider-Man questioning his reality when the Beyonder appeared. You know what I heard? Hmm. Is the Scarlett Johansson stuff already <laughs> happening? No. So, yeah, did you hear about Scarlett Johansson? She's no. suing Disney. Why? I heard about that. But no, yeah, well, it. she wants more money because of box office and stuff. But know what I think is stupid? I th- I'm happy that she came forward because now maybe Goofy can come forward and s- s- get what's rightfully his and uh, Pluto. The fuck are you talking what, about? What are you talking about here? They're both dogs. Okay. You don't think they and got Pluto the- has to sleep in a doghouse and Goofy gets all the bitches and a son. Okay. Pluto doesn't get shit. I don't think Goofy gets bitches, but all right. We'll continue. He had a loving wife that died, Alex. <sighs> okay, it's but back. we're talking about a real woman suing yeah. a company and it's probably actually affecting her. You don't think uh, Even though she, Disney's come out and said and they're like, "Yeah, we've already paid you 20 million dollars." So but she, she can't afford her second private island in the Bahamas. Oh, Aren't you upset about that? How's her husband, Colin Jost, going to make it? That's a good point. It's How, he's only on Saturday Night Live. This injustice. And in Tom and Jerry. I know, bro. This it's injustice rough. of uh, We can update. Do you think he's going to talk about this? millions of dollars. <laughs> Ooh. Her husband's Colin Jost. He's the one of the Weekend Update guys on SNL. Oh, yeah? Maybe. I thought SNL's not a thing anymore, though. What the fuck? Watch your mouth. Wait, what, what? Cody? What the fuck? Someone told me they were in the last season. Maybe I heard some wrong information. Maybe. Maybe they is told you about something funny that happened last season. This is going to be your last season if you keep talking like this. <sighs> Alex, leave. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Alex, this is your last episode. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> is someone I'm telling your mom about it. I'm sending it to your mom. No, I laugh. How do you know yeah. my mom's number? Oh, don't worry about it. John. John. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm going to see Alex. You want to see Alex? This? Meet me. Yeah, right there. Check him out. Check, 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 handsome, check him out. Handsome DJ guy. My family basement. knows me now because of this podcast. Yeah, that's my true. My brother? My mom? I love that I met your brother and he was just wearing his underwear when I first met him. No, my other brother. Uh, how many brothers do you have? Two. Two. All right. How many you got, Alex? I have a sister. How many sisters? I have a, I have a sister. How many? Eight? <laughs> you have eight? Why are we talking about family members when we're- 80 sisters? About- oh that's a lot, dude. I didn't know that. That's quite a lot. We only knew about the one. Do you just, like, swap them out? Occasionally, They're like this is my one sister, and all your friends are like, she looks a little. Is different. it like my wife and kids when they swapped out the daughter? I never I'm, saw that show. So yeah, eight? like I said, leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen, this is your basement, not mine. All right. Get Group. that fucking in your head, and don't you fucking forget it. Wait, wait. Who's the basement? The DJ basement. Mark. Some balls of bone, the end of a spoon in hand. It was rip, rip, rip. Bringing you back to now. But I got some sick reverb on that one, too. Yeah, buddy. Oh, you there? You had the hand on the knob. Oh, oh you. That's what you they call it. it. Andrew Hand on the knob, last name. <laughs> 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 that is my last name, but how dare you dox me? <laughs> 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 Good old last name, last name. So, Cody, do you know Spider Man's not real? What? I don't know, man. I just saw him. He's a savior. 
Yeah. Hey, Cody was just about to leave. <laughs> I saw it in his face. He's like, bro, I, I swear to God, not again. <sighs> the show was the. Do you want to tell that story? Genesis I think it's a funny one. Me. The, the show was story. the show was the genesis for you. What do you mean? You know the Bible. You, you you're the religious one, right? Uh, Are you religious? Not like crazy religious. Congratulations. Genesis is well, the, one of the that. Bibles. Yeah. Okay. That's why it's you like know the Spider Man Lord. Like Sega Genesis, like, you know. Spider Man was my Jesus. That's what I'm trying to get. Oh, at. One time man. in grade school, my friend Nick Doucette told me Spider Man wasn't real. What the fuck did you do? I didn't talk to him for three months. <laughs> <laughs> Dead serious. I was, I was pretty upset. How, Wait, how old were you? Like 16? <laughs> this is last year. <laughs> <laughs> I was in grade school Wait, did you actually year. think he, Did you actually think Spider-Man was real at one point? In your life? I don't know. He's, I, just, well, I still think he is. I was, so just, like, I was just stubborn. It was like... He you? was really young. So like... It, it's like the Easter Bunny or Santa Claus. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, you got all things Spider-Man. Santa, Santa wasn't real, too. Hold the fuck up. Nick's only Santa wasn't real. Spider-Man wasn't real. <laughs> he just ruined everything yeah. for you. When I was a kid, childhood. I, when I was a kid, I pretended I would believe in Santa until I was like 12 because I thought I'd get an extra present. And then my parents were like, we would have given you that present regardless. It's just one that said Santa on it, <laughs> dumbass. Jeez. Yeah, I did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like going into high school, like, where'd Santa come in? <laughs> They're like, okay, John, we got to talk to you. Santa? <laughs> no. Santa's not real. <laughs> I'm just punching my face and knocking my teeth out. I need money, mom. I got to buy that weed. I got <laughs> that actually did happen to me, though, where it was just like, I did used to write letters to Santa, and then my friend, my friend that I don't really, I haven't John. talked to in a long time, was just like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm writing this <laughs> list of, like, things that I want from Santa, and he's like, why are you, Santa's not really a dumbass. Like, he was very, like, dumb ass. like, he would. Are you sure this friend wasn't me? <laughs> did I go back in time and go, fuck you doing, dummy? No, you, pro you pro I think you actually know this friend, but I don't want, really want to say, like, names online, so I'm going to call him, uh, uh, Ford. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna name him after a car company? <laughs> uh, okay, how about Kevin? Is that his name? No. Are you gonna at least clue to John some John? So you're talking about him and the audience doesn't. You can, you can say a first name unless the first name is very obvious. Or you can give you can say a thing that would remind John of that person. Start with a J. John. No. Oh my God. <laughs> this was a bad idea. Long story short, he made me. I, I literally was like so f furious that I just fucking broke the pencil. And I was like, What'd your mom say? No, I was like, Why'd you lie to me? And my mom's like, It's you, you're bound to find out eventually. Like, then why did you tell me? That why'd was you lie to me, mommy? <laughs> why, mommy? Why'd you lie to me? I really want to talk to Santa. That's what you sound like as a kid, right? Yeah, I sounded like like a child, Boom Howard. Or that no, not even. No, yeah, like, that's, that's like the death what blind, the greasy, fairy? naked guy from Family Guy. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> that's uh, yeah. What'd that's you say, Cody? The tooth fairy. You know, one time I didn't. I lost my tooth, and then I had to write the tooth fairy a note just in case to tell tell them that I didn't have my tooth, but you should still give me money. <laughs> <laughs> and he, then he did, or her. Or no, the, the tooth fairy is the Rock. Yes, yeah, so I said that. That was the first thing I thought of too. <laughs> Imagine if it actually was. Did just the Easter the Bunny scare anyone in? else? No, like when you no, I'm not like scare like the stories, but like when you went to like an Easter function, like say for your parents' job, they had an Easter party, and there's this weird guy in a costume. Oh, I don't okay. like it. I don't like people in animal costumes. Yeah, it's mascots. I don't so know what Alex loves them. You don't like furries, is what you're saying? Yeah, no, I don't. No, sorry. Well, there goes those viewers. Shit. <laughs> there goes the Fury population. The furry population. The Fury. Is not for me. No, not the Nick Fury fans. Sorry. <laughs> no Nick Furies <laughs> allowed. I never understood like the whole like Easter Bunny thing. Like it just didn't make sense to me at all. Like why? Why? Nothing really. And I mean, they all kind of don't really make sense if you think about it. I don't know, buddy. What? Well, at least Santa, Tooth Fairy. Santa's kind of cool. <clears throat> Jesus. Jesus. Shut up, John. <laughs> what? <laughs> kind of with John on the Jesus. Yeah. What did I say? So that's also true. This isn't a religious discord or podcast. Santa's religious? No, he's not. Yeah. Could be. Depends what Santa you like, because there's the Santa for every uh, part of the world mm -hmm. with a different story. I did yeah. a project on it in like grade six. Yeah, John John would remember. That's like his height year. Yeah, I was grade the tallest. Six. Wasn't it? Which <laughs> which one of your friends has like the, the Jesus uh, crucified like Santa tattoo or whatever? That's not my friend. That's Steve-O. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your best friend Steve-O Why don't we invite him to the podcast Steve-O? Yeah Have you ever met Steve-O? I would think he'd be a cool guy to hang out with Yeah probably he's, But he's pretty big He's got his own podcast He's not doing anything now probably he Yeah he just did Jackass Forever movie. It's coming out soon Oh yeah And he also has his own podcast I didn't see the trailer right of that movie yet I Just looks pop. like the other ones Let's pop it up right now Oh Johnny Knoxville falls out of a cannon 
All right. Bring up the trailer. Pull her up, buddy. I'll find it. Pull it out and let me <sighs> see it. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong? Who, me? Yeah, what's well, funny what I said. That's what Santa used to say, right? <laughs> Pull it out, let me <laughs> see. That's what I used to say to him about the presents. <laughs> oh, oh there's an egg. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's That's funny. What the Bunnies don't even lay eggs. Uh, funny you mentioned what? that. Easter Bunny. A couple weeks ago. Eggs? Oh, I think it Bunnies slay eggs. Yeah. No, they don't. Yeah, dude. So <laughs> That's why the tortoise raced the hare, because they were just trying to see whose egg it was. You're fucking with me. No, dude. So, uh, a couple weeks ago when we did the Twilight Zone episode, I know I mentioned this before, but do, we were do, talking do, about... Do, 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 do. Uh, John, what's this TV called? Uh, Cody's talking and Andrew's already finding the video. All right. It was called Love, Death, Plus Robots. Mm -hmm. um, and there was one episode where it was a claymation one. I think it was just called The Night Before. And it was like a... Before uh, Christmas? Yeah, that was a yeah. Christmas one. It wasn't yeah, claymation. It was it was a CGI. No, I think it was claymation. No, it wasn't. Stop Go. motion? It looked like it was stop motion. It looked like it was... It was not anything like stop motion or... Stop f arguing and let Cody talk. <sighs> okay, we'll pull that... Andrew, can you pull that up later? Ah, whatever. Fuck That's it. a full clip. You can't put that up. <laughs> not that. I just mean just the like... the art style. Can you get the art style for a night before from Death, Love, and other things or robots or whatever? Is that what you're talking about? It yeah. looks similar but more cartoony to Polar Express. Yeah, it kind of does. Eyes are obviously better. <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of Coraline. Coraline. Or did someone else say Coraline? Cody did. The same time. Yeah. Mars needs moms. Oh yeah. A little bit. That's the Santa Claus for the viewers watching. That's it also. That's it and, and if you're good, me. he brings you. He puts out your present out of his mouth. <laughs> it's actually really fucking creepy. It's awesome. That's just, oh, guys, I, the, the little two look is like, hey, you're Santa downstairs, and they come upstairs. It reminds it's, me of like uh, Monsters vs. Aliens a little yeah, bit, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. But like, Monster House. Freaky. Did you guys actually like too, those yeah. movies? Didn't see them. Which movie? Monsters vs. Aliens and uh, Monster Mom House. And Aliens Need Moms. I understand what people. I Okay, one time, it was like years ago, I lived with my parents, and like they had like the cable where they would have that channel that plays like newer movies. Mm hmm. And like I woke up, it was like seven in the morning. And I didn't want to wake up, but it just happened. And I couldn't go back to sleep. And Mars Knees Moms was on. I watched the whole thing. <laughs> and like I don't remember if I was just like half asleep and I liked it, but it was. I can understand why it was weird as fuck. I feel like they gave all those alien moms donks. Is <laughs> <laughs> it Pixar? Yeah, Pixar. If it no, Pixar. it wasn't Pixar. <clears throat> Mars DreamWorks, Mar Pixar. I'll look it up, but Mars Needs Moms wasn't like a Disney thing. I don't think. I was just asking, because they always give moms yeah. donks. <laughs> oh yeah. They make moms built like talk trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Big old dompers. <laughs> Listen, I have nothing against that. I think that it's a very interesting animation choice. <laughs> no one asked any of that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're just getting weird. <laughs> Alex, hide your boner, bro. I'm trying Jeez. my best, man. <laughs> Mars moms don't need that, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What the fuck are we here for? Spider-Man. Yeah, but what one? The only good one? Just kidding. I like Toby. He can get stoned by Obi. <laughs> okay, Wait, you didn't like Toby McGuire? <laughs> I literally, literally said I like Toby. Okay. I was gonna say. We're talking you, about the next- But you didn't like Tom Holland? I like him. Fuck Andrew Andrew Garfield. Garfield's yeah, Andrew the Garfunkel. worst one ever. He sucks. Peter Parker isn't cool. He doesn't skateboard. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just. <sighs> what about Miles Morales? I like that. Miles is cool. Yeah, he he could skateboard. Could That's you say? That. Andrew, do you know who? Miles yeah, but he's Morales compelling. Is? Andrew yeah. Garfield wasn't, and he. It's if, a whole different person. And I also, know. he is. An, he was an asshole. Did you know that the whole reason why he t turned into Spider Man in those movies was because he wanted revenge. He wanted to find the person who killed his uncle, so that and he wore a costume so that so that no one would recognize him when he went to kill him. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Does it? Tobey Maguire yeah. killed somebody. Does it make sense? Tobey Maguire killed it does someone make too, sense. didn't he? Well, not on purpose. Not on purpose, but he did. He so killed somebody? He was, it was like killed them. It was like manslaughter. He found this guy and just put a kilt on him. And he's like, <laughs> Start you playing a bagpipe ben. and shit. He didn't kill anyone. He went to a wrestling <laughs> He got event. some guy killed. Yeah, but he ran yeah. chasing him with the thing, and then uh, he scared him up, and he fell out the window. Looks like the freak wants to play. Yeah. Yeah. No, one no we're talking, talking about, about the, our real savior here, Spider-Man. 1994. 1994. The one, the cartoon that started off Can we me. take away the Santa and this monster Is and that the scaring you? Yeah, I'm really, I'm really scared. Pussy. Was that on screen the whole time? Yeah. yeah. No. It's say. on you guys. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Focus, that's what we're talking <laughs> about. We're talking about the season five. Episode nine? Episode nine, ten, ten to eleven. Eleven. Secret Wars. Secret Wars, the little trilogy of episodes you got yes. there. 
So I haven't watched this show Excuse quite me. some time. I actually started well whenever I got Disney Plus so about like maybe a year ago. Yeah, we'll I started watching a couple here, few episodes here and there, and yeah. that was it was whatever. It wasn't anything that special, but we still decided we want to talk about this particular uh, arc, and I actually really enjoyed this. And I don't like. Wait, I'm, you sleep- I'm sort of surprised. I don't think it's. I I because I normally me going back to cartoons or something when I was a kid or just anything when I was a kid. I'm just like, ah, I get it because it was at the time, but it was. I actually really enjoyed this one. I watched it twice. I wouldn't say this is the better of the episodes from this show, but it was good. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to watch. Yeah. I Which one? Watch like I said, three. I only watched all a few three, here yeah. and there. Yeah, you're not saying they're the better. Like, there's some the good arcs in this uh, this show. Like, the Hobgoblin arc, fucking Multiverse cyber. One. What are those cyber spiders? The cyber so, spiders. The, just the, to the maybe gliders. briefly I like explain a lot. what this episode uh, entails. Which one? Is the one that we were talking about there's, today? There's Secret three. Wars. There's three what? Three episodes, buddy. Three episodes, but It is three. I, I said... They all we'll just con- talk they, about it as if it's one, because it pretty much yeah, is. Yeah, they all continue like said, into each other. The Secret Wars arc. Um, so you're kind of thrown right away into it with Madame Webb. Well, that's what they would do with the show, because we obviously... Something else was going on in the episode before. Yeah. That we don't know about, that why he was getting... Because literally it starts... I feel like, like I did have to watch them before that, but I didn't. Yeah, because like I, instantly it starts with him getting yeah, sucked like into sucked Madame, Madame Webb's like portal or whatever that was. I don't I, like rewatching. I haven't watched the show in a long time, but when I was rewatching some of the old ones, I realized that like when an episode ends, the next conflict almost happens like right away after. Especially with like when I saw with guy. this one, like as soon as Secret War ends, Spider-Man is sent back home, and it's like immediately into like. Well, because didn't this one end with him knowing he had to go do something? I don't remember. I didn't. Uh, it ended with like, okay, you saved the world. Now you know, go back to your Earth because you've been gone for a year and a lot's happened. No, no, remember it said they're gonna put you back like nothing happened. No, but I think we should just, like. I feel like this is one of those things that maybe somebody hasn't checked out. Like just to kind of spoil it would kind of ruin it for somebody that wants to check it out. This is an old show. I don't think where there's gonna be spoilers or anything. Hmm. Okay. We don't have to worry about spoilers because I'm. Well, pretty... I mean, sorry, spoiler alert. Spoilers for a show that came out in the every 90s. video we've put out has spoilers. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what we do here. We hey, spoil we spoil things. content for everyone else. Welcome to Basement Bid. From like 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's Loki. You know what? It's actually yeah. really stupid nowadays that people are like getting a little out of hand with like, oh, I don't watch trailers anymore because it spoils so much. Oh, I think movie. it's the opposite. I think trailers are getting out of hand. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, they just are... put out one, not five. Yeah, true. You see half like, the movie and all the good scenes before you go see the movie. Exactly. And the rest is just filler. I'm down with like just like a... Whoa! I forgot about something. Sorry, yeah, guys. We just kind of lost track of. I got like, a little uh, half chub going on for Ghostbusters. Yeah, so I, about it. So this is the. Intro- <laughs> I have a full chub. So this right episode now. brings the introduction yeah, that's my of a half character chub. known as the Beyonder, who's able to create kind of situations for, I guess, heroes. He's kind of like a god. He's in god. A way. yeah. He's like a. He's an intergalactic being. He's he's. He's all so what powerful. he's doing he is he wants to see who what's stronger, good or evil. Yeah, like that's his whole thing. He wants so to... he, but he wants Spider-Man to be in charge of the good. So he gets Spider-Man's greatest foes, I guess, to go against everyone. Right? Is that what you'd say? Well, yeah, yeah. Some of his greatest foes. Uh, he, is but he also though. got like Captain America, which he got Red Skull. No, but yeah, but he's fair because he got... let Spider-Man pick who he wanted. Yeah, like after. Yeah, like he, he picked fair. all the he... bad guys, but he let Spider-Man pick who he wanted. Gave him to help. a planet that was perfect utopia. Yeah, perfect. No floor, no nothing. Said. Apparently. And then they Somewhere. sent... How long did... They sent... That's what it A was. year. It was just yeah. one year. That was they, one year? They sent the bad guys yeah. to the... I'm gonna turn... Okay. They sent the bad guys there for a year before the Spider-Man went. Can so, you imagine so how... So they sent... They sent Red Skull... Mm-hmm. Sorry, Doctor they sent Doom. Red Skull, Dr. Octopus, Doctor... Doctor... Dr. Doom. Dr. Connors, technically, but the and, lizard. Uh, yeah, as the lizard. Um, and that's <laughs> it. Yeah, but it's just like I, f- I just f- I found it hilarious how like he introduces himself and he's like, Spider-Man's like, who are you? And he's like, I am from a, a different universe, a beyond verse, if you will. Call me the Beyonder. And I kind of like giggled a little because yeah, I was like, it's creative. You're, you, know? you you're going with that name. You're I'm proud. from the Beyond. I'm the Beyond. You're proud of that name. So it's like almost these two. I mean, well, Madame Web because it starts off with her. She kind of reminds me like a, doc- a, a Doctor Strange. I think she's like way cooler in the animated series than she is in the comics because in this anime series they make her to seem like this like uh she is like friends with the beyonder and both of them like went through they traveled through the universe looking through like learning what it means to be like human or alive because they're from like you know a different reality they're like way 
powerful, but like in the comics, she's just a fortune teller. She's just a psychic mutant. She's a mutant that has psychic powers. Oh, and that yeah, the chair cool. that she I thought she was cool in the show. Yeah, yeah the chair that really she's cool. okay. I'm don't it's interrupt me. Tiny little picture. <laughs> the chair that she's sitting. Alex sent it. Yeah. Wow, Alex. Send better pictures. Alex. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. good. So the chair that she's sitting in is like it was. It's, supp it's supposed to be her husband made it. It's her life support Stan actually. Lee? Hmm? Stan Lee. Yeah, Stan Lee made that for her. Because if you didn't know, Madam Webb is voiced by Stan Lee's wife, ex-wife. Are they? They uh, don't get divorced when you're dead, Alex. Oh. <laughs> Just because Stan Lee died doesn't mean that's a divorce. They mean she's a widow. Yeah. Not black widow, if you will. Well, no, she well, died before well, he Because she's a spider. She died before he did. Well, she's I don't not think a she's a spider. Yeah, I was just going to say, she's not a spider, but you know what Anyways, I mean. Anyways, so, <laughs> so the Beyonder gives Spider-Man the chance to basically be the savior of this world. You back to us, Andrew? Oh, yeah. No, sorry. Whoops. So he has to... For so he gives... She he The Beyonder gives Spider-Man the power to take any heroes of his choosing... Actually, well, he, they get, he only gives him a certain amount of number that he can take. Which is like... Uh, which is like, what, how many? Like six? Yeah, he's like six. And he's like, I'll take the whole Fantastic Four. <laughs> the whole four. Fantastic <laughs> I was like, bad, that was the only bad choice. I mean, it worked out in the end. We'll get I'm, to that. I'm just guessing but right that now, was, but I think that's because they were about to put out the Fantastic Four cartoon. Yeah. It was... <laughs> the, the whole point of the show was for toys. They wanted more toys. No, yeah, I agree with that, but I'm saying... I. The Fantastic Four came out shortly after Spider-Man did. I don't know if it came out before or after, or even it might have came before, because I know that show didn't do too well, so maybe they're trying to, like, hype them up. Mm -hmm. That's why they did all of them. Or it's just because maybe... I guess his whole idea was that since Doctor Doom was being introduced... Yeah, he's like, and they know. Year, they know they beat him before, so we'll get we'll get the Fantastic Four here. That, that was his, like, mindset, was that, like, pretty much that, like, hmm, who fought these villains before? Oh, Doom's a tough character, but the only people I know that defeat him with Fantastic Four, so use the four slots for that. Yeah, and then he's used the same logic with the Red Skull and who he got, picked yeah. Captain America. And then he got Iron Man it was and a good uh, team. Storm. But yeah, I, I think picking Storm was a great idea. Yeah, she helped a lot. Well, because like not even just that, it's like if you look at all the X Men, it's like, oh, we're gonna get Wolverine. Wolverine. He's got. He's gonna just fight he's those worms all day. Fight those Doom worms. Yeah, <laughs> I think he would have done well. A lot it, better. But if it's a whole planet, like she can literally control the weather. Nothing they did was like, really close combat, though, Alex. It's true. Yeah. If you saw in the comics, it was like, it wasn't just like the five. It had like crazy rosters. Like the bad guys had Ultron. It was like the whole roster of Endgame pretty yeah, much. Yeah, mm -hmm. it like had Ultron. It had the Galactus. It had Doc Ock. It had the Lizard. It had like Doom. It had all these like heavy hitter villains. Did they get, did they fast forward time when the planet? Yeah, they did actually. They, uh, I, I like that concept. No, no, no. They made it, they called it the battle planet. So like yeah. what happened was the, the Beyonder destroyed several planets. And Are you sure that's not the new Secret Wars that came out a few years no, ago? No, I, that, I remember that had battle I promise planet. you. John, the, the Secret Wars, the, the original, it, it has the Beyonder. He's the one. No, no, not the Beyonder, Battle Planet. No, th that's still Secret Wars 1. Okay. Because the new one came out a few years ago and it sucked ass. Yeah, you were telling me not to read it because you were just. Yeah, because so I bought like everything at the beginning of it because I love Secret Wars and then it was just joke. Yeah, the whole, I, <laughs> the whole good versus evil takes place on the Battle Planet where it's just like it shows that he just how powerful he is, that he destroys like several planets and then combines all the broken pieces to make a mishmash planet of like all kinds of like, you know, different environments. And then he was like, okay, time to bring in the bad guys and the good guys. Cody, what were you going to say? <laughs> anyway, I, I guess what I was just going to No, it's okay. I start, mean, like, we can talk. Start out the episodes. Like, this is season five, which was the last season of the series. Right? I think it was like five seasons. Of five show. or six, yeah. And I just find it funny that he goes to being, like, kind of like a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man to, like, this episode. It's, it's now a responsibility to save a whole entire planet. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally. like it's, I don't know how much that evolved over seasons, where it's like with great power comes great responsibility. Now this whole fucking world is gonna be doomed if, well, if the Spider-Man doesn't go and do besides something besides about the Tobey Maguire movies and the Andrew Garfield movie, that's kind of always how Spider mans ended up. Yeah, in this cartoon and the comics. But it's just like the, I, if I wonder Marvel, if you watch them in chronicle like chronological order, order the responsibilities get higher and higher and higher, and it's like mm -hmm. what do you go after that? And I guess yeah. you just introduced the multiverse or something. That's kind of like why I didn't. That's kind of like what I didn't like about. They did like, introduce the multiverse in the show. They did, I know. One of the last times he meets Stan yeah. Lee in that episode. He does, yeah. I really don't like when comics are like we need to like step up, uh, step up our game. What can we go bigger than the universe? The multiverse. What can we go bigger than the multiverse? The omniverse. What can we go bigger than the omniverse? Meeting our writers or creators, you know, Stan Lee and stuff like that. And it's just like it's okay. Can we like take it down a notch? I mean, like this is getting a little out of hand. You know what I mean? Well, there's, I mean, it's been around for so long, so there's always different stories by different writers, like, all the time, and it's going on for years and years and years, but I yeah, I see what you're saying, it's kind of hard to build well, it up once you get it so high, and that's kind of like what they did with the, like, Endgame, right? It's like, now they gotta find a way to figure out a 
slow build up or whatever the fuck they're gonna do but yeah um so i thought that was pretty funny they basically even told him he's like i'm gonna be the savior of this world (laughs) he's basically gonna be there like jesus christ or whoever the hell you want to call him your jesus christ (laughs) someone's he's he's it's like prophecy for you yeah yeah (laughs) yeah it's like this is the word what do you guys think of the difference between the beyonders look in this show compared to the original i thought it looked pretty cool in the the, uh uh, another tiny pick (laughs) <laughs> That's a nice pick. Dude, he had a sick mullet. Man. He did have yeah, a sick the, mullet. Like I was look back then though. I had a mullet back in the nineties. Yeah, but this, this I thing, did. You think I this, had a mullet in high school? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> you guys think this is a good mullet? Okay, that's Beyonder in the animated series. He had a mullet too before. Look at this guy. Look at him. Fucking Jerry. Dude, he looks like fucking track. one of the Bee Gees okay. or something. No, dude, he just looks like Sandy Cohen. Like I said yeah, earlier. That's fine. <laughs> How do you know what that is? I thought you didn't watch the OC. You you talk about him? No, I never have. I saw one episode. I, I admitted to seeing one episode. I gave it a chance, and I was like, the same for me. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. I just you, like... You're the one who has it. I thought he looked cool. I thought he... I, don't know. I was down with it. I, I just kind of like... it on us? Hmm? Yes. I like but us. let's talk... So You're so pretty. Spider-Man picked a pretty good team, aside from the Fantastic Four, but I'll get into that later. If you were to pick... Fu- okay, how many How many options can you pick? Four or five? It was six. No, it was eight. 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 All Fantastic it? Four, plus him, plus oh, wait, Storm, right. plus the Iron okay. Man and Captain America. Cody. Well, it yes, was seven, right. uh, and seven. then they hacked it to get Black Cat. Yeah, Black they hacked it. Yeah, yeah. episode two. So, yeah. Cody, pick seven. If you were to have someone... F- Marvel say, characters? Yeah, heroes? seven Marvel character team right now. Go. Like if I was in the same situation, you're any, well, who, who are you to begin with? The Beyonder. Let's say you're the Beyonder. No, let's just say no, you're Cody. But it also depends what the villain is too, right? Just shut not- up and pick fucking seven characters from Marvel that you'd want to fight with. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have to do Jeez, any. You don't have to be like, oh, let's make it fair. Fuck that, Cody. Think of the most power. Think of the be- your favorite, most powerful. The, the okay, fucking- Alex, calm yourself, buddy. Mm-hmm. You can't heat it over there, buddy. Hey, don't touch me. It's okay. We're all we're all friends. <laughs> <It's so here. laughs> Everyone's a friend. Alex, how about you go first to calm down? Yeah, how about you just yeah. go? I don't. I don't even. Know. Alex, let's hear your roster. Upset. I probably pick like Cosmic Spider-Man, uh, Rune King Thor, uh, Captain America. Just in general, I feel like he would just be like the perfect leader. So you could fuck her. He's Captain, Captain America. America. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you called him her. So I could fuck her. Yeah, that's right. I want to fuck Captain America. Don't we all? <laughs> Seen that ass. Those are also. That's also Canada's ass. Uh, Captain, Captain North Canuck? America? No, we just enjoy it too. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, that's fair. Uh, what? What's uh, his name? That's like the son of the Fantastic Four from Reed Richards and uh, Susan Storm. I, know I don't know. It's your about, team, buddy. I don't know his name. Jason Storm. What was it? Jason Richard or something like that. Uh, I don't know, buddy. What's I don't know. Did you ask this question? Power? His hero power? He's just pretty much God too. God too. Yeah, he's got two electric boogaloo. S- second, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hulk can't go wrong with Hulk. Probably Dang. Supreme Iron Man, and Dang. then uh, Black Panther with the Infinity Gauntlet. I don't know. Just yeah, you're just picking weird ass fucking characters. <laughs> Black Panther with the, the normal Infinity. version of Spider Man, but he's cosmic. No, cosmic Spider Man is King actually Thor, <laughs> girl Captain America, so I can fuck her. <laughs> fuck her. Cody, you got yours. That's yet? important. Spider Man, Wolverine, Magneto. The as heroes. The hero. Heroes, Cody. Fine, Magneto does help them sometimes, though. He actually is considered, in the original comics, he was a hero, and he was on the hero side <laughs> because they were like trying to make him like reform, but obviously he was kind of like still an <laughs> asshole on the dick. So, so he, Cody, are you going to finish your team? He was an asshole. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, let's get Cody's team. Sorry, Alex. Don't mean to cut you off. It was just funny that you called him an asshole and a dick. Because <laughs> he's both. Who? I don't know. That's what Alex Magneto, said. not yeah, Cody. Said Magneto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Cody, like, you got three. You got uh, a lot more. You got four more. Right, I pick Wolverine. I would actually, okay, sorry, I would pick Storm. You really like Storm. Storm's dope. We just went over this. Dude, she Storm. controlled the weather of the whole fucking planet. She's like, this basically is girl Thor. Pretty yeah. much. Without a hammer. Um... John would give her a hammer. <laughs> Very inappropriate. What? what? I have a. Like, I work in the trades. I have yeah, hammers. He's got hammers in his toolbox. Yeah. What do you think I meant? The Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> Nightcrawler. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, are you okay? I'm sorry I put you through this. Nightcrawler would be. You got sick. one more, Cody. And. Nightcrawler would be sick. Yeah. Mm. Xavier, did I say that? Nope. 
No, but that's yeah. fucking. So pretty smart. much the X Men team. Yeah. Yeah. Cody likes X Men. Sure, I like X Men, Spider Man. All right, know. here we go. You ready? Yeah. Spider Man, Reed Richards, Iron Man. No, actually, no. Fuck Iron Man. We got Reed Richards. He's smart enough. Yeah. Uh, you got your scientist. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Iron Man could kick Reed Richards' ass. Spider Man's well. scientist. Yeah, but Iron Man gets heated sometimes and doesn't think straight. True. I want Very to true. Speaking of that, hold me that thought. I'll get into my thoughts later. All right. So I got three. Spider Man, Reed Richards. Uh, what was the other one I was going to say? A Hulk, obviously. A Hulk. You need Hulk. Just to be yeah, a dummy. You know. <laughs> He's easier, uh, just to be fair. Just to be yeah. different, I'll go Red Hulk. Okay. Well, yeah, you always need a dummy. You always need a goon. <laughs> that's why the thing is in it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. That's, Which is weird that's because Hulk had a cartoon at the same time. It, made by the same people who didn't put him in it, but whatever. Uh, oh. Fuck it. Captain Marvel. Black Panther. And then what, I got two more? Yeah. Captain America, just to keep everyone's moods Head up, you know? straight. Yeah, that was a good choice. He's a good team. Uh, and just to make him happy, let's throw not the Falcon and not the new Captain America, just Anthony Mackie, the actor that plays those. <laughs> 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 yeah, dude, that's dope. Dope team. Good team, John. What's uh, Anthony Mackie going to do, though, exactly? He's funny. <laughs> He's just going to be there. You ever see those videos? <laughs> <laughs> he did like a like a press junket for like WandaVision and not for WandaVision but for the Disney Plus shows and uh, Elizabeth Olsen was there and like they're asking her questions he's like Andy you got any questions for Elizabeth he's like yo what was it like working with uh, Kate the cat Dennings and he's like Whew, what was it like <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so you just he be the, yeah the comedic relief for your team. All right. Well, he's which is weird because he's not comedic relief in the show in the shows or movies. He's just, yeah. You said as himself, but I, so. as himself, he's a funny guy. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. What do you guys think of the voice actor for Spider Man, Christopher Barnes? Yo, oh, you want to know? Can I take a piss first? You don't want to know my seven. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell, man? What the fuck? Here, tell you. Keep oh, rolling. Keep rolling while Cody's going for a tinkle. Let's see. Yeah. You, let's tell you your seven. I'll get my seven going here. Yeah, you guys want to see me? Yeah. Sure. You can't. My camera's not on. And now it is. What up? Okay. So my seven would be. And the, you don't know much about any of these characters. So like, what are you going off of with these seven? You want to explain that with each character? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right, my seven would be Spider Man because I like him. Yeah, I actually have like kept up with him. Yeah, and I like him. So going with Spider Man, you know, want to meet him too. You know, he's a pretty yeah. cool guy. I heard he's nice. Yeah, he only uh, said Spider Man so far. I'm going for uh, Deadpool. Oh, nice pick, right? Right. Uh, just because once we all die, we need someone to go back and tell that uh, everyone else is fucked. What? <laughs> Remember he went back in time in the second one? He, that's, he not also, his, that's not his powers, though. He can't die. Basically. Just let Andrew say his seven. He's like Wolverine. That's Deadpool can't die, basically. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so when we all die, he'll be able to go back and tell people that everything's fucked. How did he go back again? I don't remember in that movie. He took it from Cable or something. Yeah, time. him and Cable. Yeah, huh? he doesn't yeah. have time traveling powers. Okay, well, he's guess not what? Traveling through hey, time. Guess what? It's he's getting list. transported back by the. Right? Uh, cable helps him. He's got Cable on uh, speed dial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah cable on that time traveling. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna go with the Beast from X Men. <laughs> Right, because nice, nice. he's Smart. like my he's Hulk, your basically. He can be your scientist and, and your scientist. Hulk. Oh fuck! Well, the Hulk could also be Hulk's the scientist stronger, too. Now when he's the Hulk, depending on which Hulk it is. Yeah. Well, if, if I get the MCU one, yeah, you can get that's the Professor yeah. Hulk. Yeah, but um, and then okay, so how many I got? Three. Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> you high, baby? <laughs> no, bro. Drugs are for kids. I already said that. <laughs> um, okay, so the Hulk. No, not the Hulk. You said Beast. The Beast. Yeah. Spider Man, Deadpool, right there, Beast. Alex? You'll be okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess, Alex. This is painful to watch. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I, did, I didn't prepare my team in advance. <laughs> I uh, wanted to talk about something. Oh, well, right, what Andrew go, said? Okay, well, let's let Andrew what talk so I can hear the rest of his team. What do you want to say? Was it about, about one of Andrew's guys? 
Do you want to talk about the beast? Are you mad that he chose the beast? What are you mad about? Alex, this is a podcast. We talk. Yeah. I'm not mad. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? I want to hear about your list. Okay. Well, <laughs> fuck. Straight pissed. Uh, um, I'm going to take Cyclops. I was thinking about it. Yeah, because I actually would take him for the leader. Yeah. You know a, what I mean? Yeah. Because he's a pretty good leader. He gets distracted by pussy, but whatever. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's all mad so far. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to take... Uh, uh, the uh, I'm gonna take Rogue. Nice. nice. Actually, yeah. Mm-hmm. Rogue's dope. You and steal then, powers. Steal everyone's powers. Right. Two more. Uh, fuck. <laughs> you know two more, Andrew? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just gotta think. Uh, who else would I take? Uh, to prom? Yeah, to prom. That's the list, right? We're doing. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought we were doing, right? Yeah. I would also take. Nightcrawler I like Cause he can just Fucking teleport yeah. And I wouldn't have Thought of that on my own But Good call Go Cody to. Nice And One more One more Who rounds that team fucking, off uh, You're just gonna name The first character comes Venom. Venom I'm going Venom Okay Alright It's <laughs> like a more powerful Spider-Man <laughs> Anti-hero That's smart Yeah Alright Alex What'd you wanna right. say About Two Andrew's Spider-Mans. list Two Spider-Mans Yeah what'd you wanna say What how about what, his list? Let's, let's let's let us hear what he wanted to say. His list is fine. He picks. Yeah. He, he, he picks. You said you he, said you wanted to say something. Say something. He picked like, seven beast. heroes. Yeah, he did. What did you think about it? It was okay. What were you gonna say like about Deadpool or Beast? You said you wanted or to say me. something. Or me? What were you gonna say? Nothing. I don't know what you guys are on about. You I literally know, said I have something to say. You grumpy I, little gill fuck. I just wanted fuck. to say something. Is what you said. I'm okay. I'm good. Okay, that's good. That's good. So yeah, Spider Man, his team. Could we get a picture of that? Because since we've been kind of talking about ours, maybe fresh people. What yeah. Spider-Man had working with in his his cosmic uh, chess game that he was about to play on this. There's a picture of them on the TV, discussing the, uh, the black hat. Here's them sitting. Yeah. Yes. Oh, they have the lizard here, which we I were, really like this whole idea of yeah. the lizard uh, the, the, being there because he kind of started sick. as a villain. He kind of ran so he right away. They're brought into like the lab or the science. Yeah. Uh, center that they, they made to defend against all this evil shit that's going on, or just the scientists of that planet. Um. But he kind of runs and fucks up everything there he just for runs them. Runs through a wall. Runs through all the defense systems, <laughs> breaks everything in the the faculty, and um, but that's just his man, uh, mammalian. Reptilian. 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 Yeah, hey, it's would be reptilian, but they say mammalian. Mammalian. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what you're I talking about, Cody. Sorry. But yeah, it was cool that they were. He. Oh, because uh, they're saying mammalian when he's talking about their, his human his brain. His human brain, yes. Yeah, because yeah, he yeah, has reptilian are mammals. Right? I don't think that's how that works, yeah. by the way. There's no, like, just no, like, his human brain and his reptilian brain are fighting against each other. It's like, that's not how brains work. No, what else doesn't work? Mm. Humans don't turn into lizards. <laughs> 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 so, like, there's no real science behind that. <laughs> You know what? Fair enough. Uh, fair enough. I will shut up now, actually. <laughs> no, but I, I've never really seen... Like, I know that's his teacher, Peter Parker's teacher, Dr. Connors, but I've never seen them, like, as he after became the lizard, like, them really work as a team in much of anything. It was sick. The, the, I like that. I thought that was Iron cool. Man and Reed Richards working together, or just Iron Man, the... Uh... Uh, I was mostly Reed Richards that figured out that... He yeah, activated yeah. the the reptilian part of, or sorry, the mammalian part of his brain, so that he could be more Doctor Connors as in And I thought form. that was dope because it's kind of like, in a way, Professor Hulk type situation. Yeah, but I don't. But he I was don't, fighting I that duality like, throughout yeah, it. I don't like Professor Hulk, but I like this. Yes, it's more conflicting almost because it's like it really is. He's just fighting with his inner inner demons, while the Hulk is just like. For the longest yeah. time, I always thought the Hulk was Banner, just angrier. I didn't think of him as like a separate person almost, but they're. But it, they're, they've talked about before that it is literally just Banner's anger coming out in a different personality, kind of. Uh, yeah. So it's like a split personality, pretty in much. In a way, yeah. 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 I hate He's that they the main character of Split. Yeah, yeah. They, pretty much. I, I feel like they with nerfed Professor a lot Rebecca. of these, like. Yeah. Yeah. Iron Man, I felt like Iron Man was going to do put in a lot more work. Maybe I'm just so used to the MCU Iron Man. That that's the, yeah, that's because well, you got to remember Mel's watching and she's like, why isn't Iron Man just leading them? And she's like, oh, I'm just too used to the MCU one. Yeah, because <laughs> at this time, the Spider Man cartoon was it and the X Men cartoon was it. He's not just a kid here, he's a man. Yeah, Iron Man had his own show. I remember the No, that's song. what I'm getting to. Okay. <laughs> frick, I frack, Cadillac, am, bud. Iron Man. Yeah, that show wasn't I that good. Am Iron Man. No. 
I know what you're talking about. All right. But I'm saying Ozzy the Spider-Man Osborne? show and the X-Men show were the ones that were popular, and they tried to push <clears throat> the Hulk. that had, like, one or two seasons. Fantastic Four, I think, had, like, episodes, not even a season. Iron Man, I think, did a little better, but, I, like, I if you ask someone that's, like, a normal person, hey, you remember X-Men? Yeah. Spider-Man? Yeah. Uh, Iron Man has a... What? Hulk? What? Fantastic Four? I remember the Hulk's, like, the 70s cartoon. I think I remember more of the Hulk cartoon than the Iron yeah. Man one. Yeah, me too. Dr. Banner turned into You're, you're just singing Hulk? the Jetsons. <laughs> oh, it's down, 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 down. <laughs> Meet Dr. Banner. Oh, I'm He's angry. <laughs> <laughs> Turn. I don't know. Did you guys Basically. find it strange? Like, uh, I'm sorry, Cody. What were you going to say? Doesn't matter, man. Yeah, it does. No, it does. It no, I was just saying, so right off the bat, uh, so with the team, the Spider Man pick, it kind of worked out for him because he had Iron Man tell, telling him how this faculty was going to work. Facility. He's very facility, whatever. Uh, and you guys going to fuck? Yeah, it's a lot of sexual so. tension between you two. I don't know if it's sexual tension or pure hate, or if that's just yeah. what's going on, boys. This guys, talk it out. Oh, hug it out. Fine. We're gonna make you hug again. Holy shit, dude! What was that? Dead air is sick. <laughs> Everyone loves it. <laughs> Um, right. but yeah, no. I thought it was kind of stupid that how many times once they brought it, okay, I get the first time they don't know what's going on, they're angry, Ben Grimm's a dumbass. That pissed me off, so and I was going get mad, and then they all start fighting, but it happens Fan- multiple times. I know, Fantastic Four, like, why did they fuck the brain? You got stupid fucking... I used to like the thing as a kid. Guy. I used to like him, like him as a kid, but like, now? Hated him in what's this. What's wrong with you? Everything he did in this episode pissed me off, and I, He who? just seems... The thing. Oh, yeah, fair enough, yeah. yeah. Ben. He's like, oh, Dr. Doom, he turned me back. I'm on your side now. To be honest, I don't blame like him. Idiot. Sorry, I, I don't care, man. This bitch. You don't blame him for what? He he was like, he hated that he was a thing. Yeah, but he literally turned on everyone. Yeah, but that's bitch. I mean, fair enough. Yeah, he betray- you know, a little but, bitch. You know that Reed Richards is kind of a dick, too? Like, Yeah, but in this universe, he wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was trying to, come on. Get the mission. Get back to the mission at hand, you know? <clears throat> yeah, they just fight a lot. And then yeah. the only thing that brought them together was Dune. So yeah, the worms sure. from Dune. Or Tremors. <laughs> yeah, and this thing just going up to him, punching him. Yeah. Um, no, I like the whole, the idea that, uh, what's her name? Miss Fantastic? Not Miss Fantastic. Uh, Invisible Woman? Yeah, that she, had to, that she basically put a whole invisible dome over the faculty to like protect it that because was cool, the systems yeah. were down. She's pretty strong. Yeah. yeah. And then it was like, hey, let's get Storm to fucking... <laughs> Power up, the power up this generator yeah. again. I thought that was cool. It uh, was cool. It was pretty neat. You know what I thought was dumb, but I liked it. Yeah, that's in a the lot of things. Second episode. You're like, what the fuck did you just say to me? You like a lot of things that are dumb, man. Yeah, I'm friends with the two people on the couch. <laughs> it's okay. I like dumb things too. Like what? Like the next movie we're gonna be talking about. That's well, not dumb, but anyways. Kind of dumb. Hey, Spider-Man, you got you can pick seven people. First thing they do, let's hack this fucking thing and get Black Cat up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that too. Like, why is Black? <laughs> like, I get, like, she's kind of like a super soldier, which she's not kind of, she is. In she, that, yeah. Is she actually, what's her power? In this the, universe, the, the, she, yeah. she, she, uh, her dad uh, was a kid when they had the serum in the 40s. They explained mm-hmm. it. Yeah. And then uh, they, uh, Kingpin, it happens earlier in this show, like, not in the shows we're talking about, but the, the, the series. her. But uh, they brought her in to give her the serum and like kind of like use it as a threat to her dad, because they wanted him to just give it to him. But somehow they had it, but <laughs> or something like that. Or they stole yeah. the only one, and, then, and they injected her with the ser- serum. Yeah, and then she became a super soldier. But then Spider Man was getting all heated because Captain America and uh, Black Hat were talking too much. He's like, "Oh, I should have just set him up on a date." Yeah, that pisses me off though. Is like he always like gets jealous that Black Hat's gonna date Captain America, except the one time when she was like, "I was." He, he's there's such a good leader on this team. He's like, yeah, Captain is amazing. I wasn't talking about Captain. I was talking about you. And she kisses him. And he's like, wait, I'm kind of like, like he's kind of like hesitant about it. It's like, dude, do you like her or not? Like, make up your mind. And it's just like he always can, like seems like he has a thing for Black Cat, but then it always seems like in his mind he's just like, because oh. Black Cat is pretty much Catwoman, like not in powers at all. I just mean the relationship with Spider Man and, and Batman. It's like you, you kind of want what you can't get. Except it's like that Black Cat's fruit. not a really bad. Oh, we skipped over. They fucking open up with Morbius and Blade trying to fight Blade's mom. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. But I then I, I also kind of confused me because it was like, I now have to feel like I have to go watch this series. Because All those like, characters are in the series. Right, but it's like, she, uh, 
Morbius? Morbius? Morbius. We're getting confused with these Morbius, Morbius, yeah. whatever the fuck name. This one's Morbius. Morbius. Um, Morpheus. Nope. Morpheus, he morphs. Nope. nope. <laughs> That's a completely different guy. It is. From um, another but like, series. Yeah, they're trying, to, they're trying to get Blade's mom from Where? Nexus Castle. Yeah, because she's the vampire queen or something. Right, but it, it almost seemed like Black Cat and her had a relationship, too. What kind? With Morbius. She said that it was like a spiritual one, but it was... I don't know. I think in the other episodes they talk more about it, but I don't remember. I watched the show yeah. like 10 years ago. I watched. I don't show. know the relationship or her relationships with any of these characters in this show. Morbius was a cool arc in this series. If yeah, you yeah. ever watched that. I had no idea that Blade was actually part of this uni- like the Spider-Man universe. I thought it was just some random bounty hunter. And then John, I was like, John, why is he like... I didn't realize Blade was in here, but like, why did they make him like white? And he's like, he's not white, he's black. And I'm like, I'm watching. They did. And they I'm, just made him very light for some reason like, in this show. Holy yeah. shit! I was like, as soon as he showed me pictures, like, holy shit, you're right. They, he, I was like, I didn't even like know the difference really. And I was like, but I was like, why'd they not give him the shades? They have like one job. Why'd they get rid of his shades? <laughs> oh, his sunglasses. Yeah, they got rid of his sunglasses and they made him super light. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is weird. Why it is super weird. Cancel Stanley. <laughs> Cancel <laughs> Stanley. <laughs> oh oh oh! They already did. Yeah. He's yeah. oh he's dead. He's dead. Oh. Yep. Oh, just this just in. So I think the <laughs> first <laughs> the <laughs> first villain aside from the sandworms, uh, <laughs> was the lizard. With, but we already uh, yeah, talked so about true. that. Besides yeah. the lizard, was Red Skull. But I don't I I don't really know what was Red Skull just trying to also get like area or like just kind of a kind of conquest of like what the planet was. Yeah, he had and he just has Doc 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 as like his side scientist. No, hmm. so he <laughs> teamed up. With what's that dude that has this shoulder laser? I thing? love yeah, I was Alistair to... Smythe. Who is that? Who that is? I've never read a comic with him in it, but in this show, he, the arc with him, dope. Because he wasn't like that, but his dad and him were making this. Was was it Cyber Spiders? Yes. Or something. It was, it was something Hob, like that. It was with Hobgoblin, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he, I don't remember what serum he took, but he did that. And he was all fucked because before he was in a wheelchair. <clears throat> yeah, I heard about uh, that guy. Wasn't... He was just a normal guy in a wheelchair working with his dad. They were evil. I'm pretty sure. Maybe he didn't know or something. I don't know. But he becomes that cool fucking guy. He's dope. Yeah. So he teamed up with him because he was the he, he was like making his own like sort of like Sentinel robots. Like they're just giant robots that can fight. Which I thought were sick. But he didn't know how to like uh, have them operational because they were broken or something. So they they hired Doc Ock and they're like, if you do this for us, we'll get you back your city that you lost to Doom or whatever. Because the, the villains had their own factions or whatever. Like Red Skull had his own like literally like Nazi faction where he saw. You see that he has two bodyguards that are like the aliens. Are we talking about in this world? Yes. Did you okay. watch the show? Yes, I. Why did. do you have to say that every episode so- when Cody doesn't remember something? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I just didn't know if you were talking about something else completely. Like I just asked you what his thing was. Yeah. There and then he had like two kiss, bodyguards kiss, that were dressed kiss. in like uh, Nazi garbs, and it was like really like okay, we get it. You're a Nazi. God damn it. And I thought it was dope those cyber things though. He called them cyber skulls, and they had Red Skull's face—not red, but like this way his face looked—and mm-hmm. they just looked like sentinels with Red Skull's face. Apparently, that was uh, Spider-Man's his worst I'm fear there. in the whole universe. <laughs> well, putting up against Red Skull. <laughs> what? Well, before they like got into that section of the, I almost want to say movie <laughs> section of the episode. It kind of is a movie. It, it almost is like a movie. Yeah, yeah that's arc. what this show kind of did. Like there is filler episodes, not yeah. filler, but just episodes that don't have arcs. But like. You'll look and there'll be like an arc that's literally eight episodes long. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, just before that, it was like uh, the Beyonders talking to Madame Webb, and she's like, well, Spider-Man doesn't know he's about to meet his... Um, Maker, kind of. No, 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 he was like, his his worst fear in the whole entire universe or something like that. But then it was just Red Skull, and maybe it was Dr. Octopus, and having Dr. Octopus there for like, like apparently only a year, uh, working as a scientist... No, I thought it was funny Spider-Man. around that same time in the, that episode, I'm pretty sure it was. When they get in con- Storm finds the general of the planet. Yeah. Like the army in general. And they're like, oh, yeah, we can come to help you. We just need some time. He's like, no. Yeah. We he- need an- like, they're Literally, do you not rec- remember what happened the last year of your life? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, they're here to help you. And they're like, nah, bro, we ain't waiting. <laughs> no, we, we have this handled. I don't no, you don't. He, he, they literally, <laughs> they, he really wanted to rush to fight, even though there's no reason to. Like, yeah. They're like, they're like we're coming in the back. Tula, you had your chance. We're moving in now. It's like, why? What's so special about now? They couldn't yeah, wait. Literally. And like, yeah, why don't you guys they do something started, fucking earlier then? They started rushing in like five minutes before they got there. Yeah. Gonna, like, what's the point of that? I don't know. But it all turned out good in the end. And then later on, as they went to like barge in and bust them up, they were like, oh, <laughs> what were you saying? Sorry, Alex. I got some fun. I keep forgetting his name, though, because he's like the one character I never Ooh. even hear talking about. The shoulder laser guy. Alistair Smythe. Alistair Smythe. 
Okay, we just Alistair Smith. I know, I forgot immediately. I'm not good with names, guys. Did anyone else oh, notice the... the? Wait, uh, Alex wasn't done. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Were you? I was just going to talk about like how they were busting in, and Alex was like, wait, I just want to go home. I don't even want to be yeah, on this planet yeah, anymore. That's when he kind of started helping them just to get to go home, yeah. remember? Yeah. But yeah, did anyone else notice the funny comments people made in this episode about the rear? No. I just kept thinking about them. I wrote them, them down. <laughs> like, me, me and Black Cat will take it in the rear. That's literally what I have written down. Because <laughs> Captain America is like, me and Black Cat are going to take it in the rear. <laughs> is that what they said? Something yeah. like that. <laughs> literally word for word what he said. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I did think the whole conversation with Black Cat and Captain America was awesome, though. Because I just pictured yeah. that in like the MCU. Like, These good. are things we're probably going to see in the future with the MCU. Like when they're introduced, Black Cat just them like Captain America them Captain realizing America. like I can just see that in a movie like they're on their way yeah. to fight someone and, and they just met and they're uh, talking they, about like how well, they pretty much have the same power and how they got it and they're pretty much linked. Well, Captain America's yeah. dead now, so there's, uh, he's just old. He, he lives yeah. on the moon, remember? <laughs> yeah. He was in the moon. No, he lives on the moon now. Oh, where did it say this? You don't remember? Why are you acting like this is true, John? Yeah, bro. <laughs> he built a house <laughs> out of the no, old space. Is this from uh, Bucky and the, Wil- the Winter Soldier? That's yeah. a rumor. They're like, I heard rumors. I know. <laughs> That's what he was joking <laughs> at. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm used to Cody just say- saying something that he gen- generally thinks is real. Why are you always could be fucking real? bitching at Cody? I'm not bitching at Cody. I think I'm used just... to Cody being dumb and saying stuff that ain't true. Uh, okay, when you put it that Am way. Mike good, buddy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. You're all, you're all good, though. Keep going. Cody was like bringing up something that I didn't even notice that like Black Hat is actually just buffer than Captain America. I thought that was hilarious. I'm down. You're I'm bad down. I'm bad. Bound down, dog. Is that, is that what the kids are saying? Is that, did I say that right? Uh, you know, I, I think uh, what the expression is is that bad. bitch ain't bad. No. She's a catfish. Dad down bad. Is that that bitch ain't bad. That's a catfish. I don't think that's what I'm trying to say. I'm down bad. <laughs> Andrew just, yeah, I don't know. I'm just quoting Kanye. Yeah, but let's quote Vince Staples. <laughs> okay. And bitch, I'm thirsty. Get me a Sprite. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Sprite bitch, he's thirsty. More. Get him a Sprite. My kid lurking out down tonight. I, don't I love how none of them I realize. I just want out with you, baby. <laughs> Shout out to Vince Staples. What up, dog? What up, what up G? <laughs> no one noticed the black cat disappears. What do you mean? Yeah, she does that. They're at the hideout trying to fucking around with the shit to, with Alistair. They're hanging out with Smythe. She's sneaky. She sneaks away like a cat, mm-hmm. if you will. Because she, wants, she wants to fight Red Skull for her father's honor. Personally, yeah. Personal. A personal vendetta she has. So how they fuck him? Yeah. How they fuck, fuck him? him up, fuck him up. The fuck, Alex? That's what Cody said. Don't oh. we all want to pick one? on Red Skull for our father's honor? <laughs> Red Skull's like, do you know how little that narrows it down? You killed my father. You know how little that narrows it down. Like, What's that from? Slam and Beyond. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have the slightest idea. That's like the, that's kind of like what Thanos did. It's like, you ruined everything. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> right, we kind of touched on it, but we didn't really. But like in the third episode... Uh, they get the thing. He kidnaps the thing. Fuck the thing again. The, the movie thing. that we're talking to next, or the character? The character. Why do you hate <laughs> the thing so much? I, I he's even, annoying as fuck. He's yes. annoying as fuck in this. In this yeah, he is. I, him Honestly. and Johnny, whatever the fuck. Johnny Storm. He pissed me Johnny off Storm so much. He pissed me off. He's like, hey, what, what, Chris, why are you going to scratch your head? Like, hey, I'm a, hey, I'm a fist here. right in your butthole. <laughs> I was going to say, and I thought Captain I America's taking it in the rear. I get it, you're a rockhead and you're a hothead, but you know, just chill out. <laughs> yeah, easy. <laughs> go, go smoke like some you. rocks, <laughs> calm down. I like your New Jersey, like, hey, we get it, you're a rockhead, but like, set it down now, okay? But yeah, yeah, so Doom kidnaps him and gives him what was it, like a switch on him. It's a wristwatch, yeah. yeah. Mater- uh, matter materializer. Yeah, Doctor Doom gives a Mater- the yeah, thing it separates Apple material. Watch matter. And uh, it can turn him human, which is cool. Are we talking about Red Skull still? Sorry. Yeah, Red Skull gets a switch that turns him human. Yes. Yeah. No. They no. Doesn't. What? We're what? Well, the thing. But sorry, we were I talking did. about how he wanted to f- Black Cat wanted to fight him for honor. Yeah, and they. And they, they, they didn't. They, they nothing happened. Off. Yeah. yeah sorry. No, no, they beat Doc. They beat Doc. Ock yeah, they beat him. Yeah. He was talking about the thing getting the, the right, 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 right. Watch. Bloop, bloop. The so Apple he could watch. turn back into Ben. <laughs> but which is cool, but he's surprise, he's going to Laveria, and it's a utopia for all. Just what? Which is most fastest? Because <laughs> Doom's kind of like 
like Thanos in a way, in this sense, very loosely. But like he's. He just does it because he wants more control than yeah, whatever has, Red Skull. He gets off on having doctor, control. Yeah, like so he, he, he doesn't want, want them to scoop him. He doesn't want anything else. bad necessarily to happen to those people, but he wants control over them. Yeah, I exactly. Like, Perfect. I was gonna ask, like, what do you guys think about that though? That he's like, you get, you kind of understand that Doom is like, he's not doing this because he genuinely cares about. It's not. He, he yeah, does this exactly. because he loves the, the praise and the. Admiration. Why do you always relate to villains? When we talk about it. Because I love care. I love villains that are more like more interesting than just. No, I get that. I want to like, destroy the world because I'm evil. Ha 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 ha. You know, I like villains that are just like I want to. I like this whole because Doctor Doom's dope and everything. Yeah, he's just my favorite super villain. I think everything. My, yeah, even Fantastic Four with Jessica Alba. I have to watch that again. So I was gonna. Say, I wanted to no, ask you guys like Cody, don't when, when they. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> when the guys finally meet up with Ben and they feed, meet Doctor Doom and Ben's like he cured me and he, he cured me he's good. Yeah, would you guys <gasps> ever be like okay maybe we'll give Durr, you a I'm chance down. Doom or would you be like <laughs> yeah. just be like Spider Man like no this isn't right you're evil like you know okay first of all you with your your top three best friends of all time yeah clearly you're closest to against your mortal enemy and he helps you with one. Think, okay, I understand. Yeah, it changes you back, but you're just gonna betray your friends like that. I always you been fight th- alongside. I've always kind of like, 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 you not realize he kidnapped the thing to do that. Cold. That's true. Sorry, which way do you want to like? go? Right, yeah, like, okay, okay well, that is true. Back. Yeah, he did kidnap Perfect. him. I think yeah, he can, kidnapped him. He kept it. Back he literally kept him in a basement like this. <laughs> 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 you see, you three of your best friends there. Imagine how like, oh, well, uh, don't be. don't hurt them. I, I, did, I didn't even think about that. You're right. He's a, he's a nice guy, but he has me hanged up like like that was a Spanish Inquisition uh, or something. Uh, do you're not gonna hurt them though, right? His arms uh, would fall. Asleep. Their arms would fall asleep so yeah. quick. Be like, oh, and I'm pretty and I'm pretty sure what he said was, hey. uh Something about you broke the law here. That's dishonorable by death <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> yeah, he did. He says what something utopia. or destroyed or something like that. <laughs> but then the thing's still like, oh well, no, he's not all bad. He still helped me. He, you know, he's uh, he's doing me. You all do me. <laughs> that was a pretty good thing impression. I like that. Yeah, I like your impression. He's all do me. <laughs> do you guys like actually the Fantastic Four? At I do. All? I do. I don't. I know you do, uh, John. Yeah, but, but Cody and you don't like them. But you've never read anything about them. I got bored of all of them. I I have a Fantastic Four book, and I got bored reading it. My only impression of the Fantastic Four is the bad movie. <laughs> yeah, the one that John likes. I mean, I, I kind of. That's bad. Which one? Like I like the. That's bad. I like, like I said, I liked in this arc how he kept having to help the lizard, like I would, the lizard trying to get to the like his other side. One of, of the my game. favorite. This might be a hot take. I don't know. It depends who's watching. I like, Our like parents. I said, I don't like the thing. There's a point in the comic books where the thing isn't in the Fantastic Four and it's She-Hulk instead, and I like that. Oh, there you go. Because she's hot. Sticky sweet. I just never really enjoyed the Fantastic Four because I honestly hate Reed Richards. He's such an asshole in the comics. He always feels guilty that he made Ben the way that he is, and that's kind of. Would you? I mean, I would too, but like then there was a point where like literally all the turmoil in his life is because of that. This is a character that I was talking about that that was like part of my seven superhero team or whatever. Yeah. Is that Reed Richard and Susan Storm, you know, get married, have a child, and they have a son. Their son is actually the strongest mutant ever to exist at ever. Like stronger than Apocalypse, stronger than anything, and the reason why he's so strong is that he can change reality pretty much. Uh, Yeah. Marvel has a lot of characters that just change reality in general. Makes it easier to write. Yeah. So. (laughs) <laughs> so he actually does make Ben normal, like you know he doesn't have the skin anymore. But then he realized that he f- he was like he Did didn't you just know call how to his get- rocks the s- skin. Yeah, no, like he, Fortnite, my dude. He gave him the ability to like control it, but then he he also kind of didn't know how to control his own power, so he kind of like messed up a lot of things more than he fixed it. And then Richard came and like he put dampeners on his brain to like make it so that the only way he can learn his powers is if he like you know properly grew up and trained them properly. Well, and, and then he was like, but honey, we can make Ben normal. And then Richard's like, no, he should stay the way that he is because he lear- it's like something like that's just how he is. And he learns What's from What's your it. opinion on Professor X then? Professor X? I actually don't read too much. No, about I know, but what, as a person, in the what you have read. Based on every, like based on based movies. On based on everything you've seen and read. I yeah. think he wants what's best for mutants because he knows it well, but he also d- believes that he, he mutants and humans can live coexist like fun fact for you he also dampened someone's powers and you like him 
Oh, so because she's the phoenix. She has the phoenix force. She's, well, you she just goes, said that his. She goes crazy. You literally just said that their kid was the strongest mutant in the world, past phoenix. So you're okay with them damping a phoenix, but not okay with him damping his kid that he wants to protect because he doesn't want his kid to fuck anything. No, up but or the get thing is, up. he could turn back all the wrong that he did. But he also said, you know, make Ben back into a stone monster. Well, what we learned in this episode, Alex, what is just because the thing wants to become human doesn't mean it's the best thing for him. Who has the right to say that? I think well, ben, ben even realized it in this episode. I think Ben just is like he, he wanted at the end. He did say, "Yo, can I keep my watch?" Yeah, he was sad because like no, he, I know, but he understands. No, he didn't. He was sad. He was like, "Okay," he was like, "I guess that's just how the stone rolls," or something stupid like that. I guess that's just how my rocks jiggle. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh God. So yeah. Doctor Doom, man, he had a he I had love a, Doctor he had a Doom. I love. He had a contingency plan there. He knew that he was being transported to this planet, and he set. I don't know if it was like some sort of uh, tracker on the Beyonder. Yeah, something Whatever, like that. or the other way around. Like no, what happened was that Ben was like, you know, I made you human. Can you like tell me what happened? Because I'm yeah, yeah. And Ben lost. told him everything about the Beyonder. And but then, then he said he had a suspicion. Remember, so he did. He had suspicion that was a third party, like a super a power. power. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And what was, that was kind of actually really funny because like he was like, where was the place that you guys were teleported? It's like right here. He looked yeah, at the he brings him there. He looked at the king being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is how we got here, Doctor Doom. <laughs> well, you're just gonna look at the computer, right? It's like, oh yeah, he <laughs> yeah. he looks at the computer for five seconds, fixes it, teleports to Beyonder, takes the gun, shoots <laughs> the beat. <pizza. laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, molecule set or whatever the hell it was again. What did you say it was called? It was. It's just the Beyondverse or uh, the that's, battle plan. What are you talking? It's about? like it just separates. Like and, uh, I don't know. It does something where it takes his power and puts it into him. Oh, whatever the matter the material. Called, uh, yeah, the yeah, matter, matter. Yeah, something like it, that. It's, but he takes that gun fuses himself yeah. with the Beyonder and then he becomes God Doom. Uh, God yeah, Doom basically, is, yeah. God Doom actually is in a character in both Secret Wars 1 and the new one where he... Oh, there you go. And, um... So now you can just think of shit and it happens. In the comics, Doom actually does... He doesn't overpower because the Beyonder's power is, like, almost limitless and Doom was, like, he couldn't do nothing about it. And... But he pretty much did the same... <laughs> but he pretty much did the same thing where he, like... Just was able to like contain, like you know, merge himself with the Beyonder, and then he became God Doom. Yeah, but you know, it's, it's funny. Yeah, because he built all those like robots and shit and everything that was around the area and everything. Yeah. But now that he had this like ultimate power, is that when he fell asleep, he started having nightmares, and it would start bringing all these creatures here. But the funniest thing happened is when they find out it's happening, Spider Man just goes over and swing kicks him in the face. <laughs> he yeah. kicks the shit out of him. <laughs> And then Doom's like, Doom, what the fuck? I was sleeping, man. <laughs> well, then like, also, you... fucking Doom. Like, uh, this is when uh, Ben starts to realize maybe Doom's not the nicest guy he thought he was. He just fucking sends everyone 50 miles away. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> besides that's Ben. That's one of the first things that... Yeah, yeah, besides Ben. He's like, yo, what the fuck? I, you see, look at my friends. I honestly love everything about the him. shows that we just watched. I loved this new Amazing Spider-Man shows. It was just like... The scene where they're like, um, we got teleported, but then Doom is like, how do we fight someone that's godlike? And then Captain America's like, I say we do a vote, because that's the very diplomatic <laughs> that thing. That's what he to, says? Yeah. yeah. Does it, well, he got, what does he transform into? The, the... It's a desert. Yeah, huh? some random desert, yeah. The Amazing right. Spider-Man was sweet. That's what we all watched. Spider-Man the Animated Series. <laughs> okay, wow, cool. <laughs> I'm you can just say joking. His... Whatever. I'm joking, buddy. It's okay. You can talk shit about Cody. We can't say little things to you. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean like that. I just was like, sure, okay. dish it out. Oh my god. <laughs> you said I love the the new Amazing Spider-Man show we watched. That yeah. is true. <laughs> it's not new. It's old it's from... as fuck. <laughs> when did this come out? When, What's this sh- when did this show come out? <laughs> ninety-four to ninety-eight. Oh Jesus. I'm yeah, old. It's like as old as us. Put Alex on a plan. Well, you guys want to fast forward time. Not wrap up the video, but wrap up about talking about this, so we can talk yeah, about yeah, some yeah. other things about this cartoon and things linked to it. Well, there yeah. was. Like, I had a whole, like, I, there's, like, the, my favorite part. Okay, really quick. What's everyone's favorite part when we watch these episodes? I just say when fucking Doom's sleeping, Spider-Man just swing kicks him. <laughs> <one. laughs> <laughs> How about you, That's John? Funny. The the thing I liked the most was the uh, cyber skulls. But I liked... Uh, there's a lot of cool things. I don't... It's, it, it surprised me. I liked the, to be honest, my but favorite part awesome. was either when Captain America and Black Cat talked or just the beginning of episode two with Blade and more, more, more. Yeah, that was sick. Just right. them being there. See, so, my favorite... you, Andrew? I liked uh, when you see Doctor Doom 
in his like utopia yeah. cuz you don't really expect it from Doctor Doom. No. Yeah, and, then and it's just like it's just random. like a twist. Yeah. What's yeah, a yeah, twist? Cool. What about you, Alex? I think my favorite part was when they dropped the mountain on everyone. That was because it was supposed to be like how <laughs> So unrealistic. It's just really unrealistic cuz they're like let's have a vote, but then Iron Man's like, "Well, he's god now, so he could probably know that we're thinking they retaliate." And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Johnny starts, "What's the worst he could do? Like drop a mountain on us?" And everyone's like, "Johnny." And then like <laughs> he literally does just drop That's a mountain. That's Johnny. Wait, scroll, Storm. Scroll up to the, the <laughs> what images a I posted. <laughs> I'm a hothead. <laughs> Guys? Yeah. What would you sorry? say sorry? Scroll up to the images I posted. Which one? The one with the mountain. Which one? Oh uh, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. This one or this one? Uh, the first one. That's well, okay. so this is like what happened in the comics, where like Molecule Man was in the original comics, and it showed that he can—he's actually a lot more powerful than everyone realized. And he picked up a mountain. It was just like I can just kill them right now. We don't need Doom's help. That's and such a cooler mountain. <laughs> it really oh, is yeah. compared to like what it was. <laughs> I didn't even think it was a mountain in the, sh in the show. Yeah, it was like, it was just just like, like a rock. big boulder. I thought it was yeah. a boulder. <laughs> really, so Spider-Man literally rock. swung it down with his fucking web. Yeah. yeah. And then they show it's how big it senses. is. And, and then I was like, hmm. <laughs> but go ahead. But it was just really, f I just thought it was cool because they actually are trying to like, I like when comics try their best to be like almost exactly how it, I mean, I like when the shows show, yeah. shows try to be their best to like to be exactly how the comics was. Uh, obviously, like, I don't think Spider- No way Spider-Man can ever possibly lift that. The Hulk lifted that entire thing, though, and it was, like, one of those, like, amazing feats that the Hulk accomplished was, like, he carried an entire, like, mountain. archipelago, pretty much. Because that's not just a mountain. That's, like, mountain range. And, um... That's a, uh, yeah. In the show, they don't show Spider-Man lifting it, but he was like, "We gotta think of something quick. It's using all my strength just to not get this thing to crush us." Would you well, think let's just say it's a boulder compared to? The fucking yeah, mountain. that's like. Okay, let's, yeah, you think he's got that, radioactive blood, but you'd think that someone else would try to carry because Spider-Man's not even the strongest one there. He is kind of is Captain actually. America. Didn't all of them? Yeah, yeah. Spider-Man is oh. way stronger than Captain. Like a thousand in, times in stronger. agility, but not all around no, strength. No, dude, Spider-Man's like easily like probably like. The fifth strongest of like okay, let's go by like uh, well, what Spider Man are we going by right now? Yes, that's not what I said. <laughs> Any Spider Man, Spider Man is really. Did you know that's he's which Spider Man are we going by? Sp yes. Whenever yes. Spider Man's fighting like Doc Ock or anyone, he's always pulling his punches. He's never using. No, no, his... no. I'm not saying that. I know, he has a lot of heart. I'm saying I don't think he has a strength. Like when he's fighting, I'm saying when he's fighting, he can kick ass because he doesn't stop. No, but I'm saying this isn't a fight. He's just lifting a mountain in the show or whatever. The he can, he can lift a mountain. He's. J John's. You think that's why they made it a boulder? Yeah, not a mountain? it's just like a pure feat of strength yeah. rather than like. Uh... You, you, you guys don't. You guys didn't know that he's actually got super strength. Like he's no, really strong. I know, but I'm saying Captain but, America. I feel stronger. No, no way. I never. Okay. Is that your opinion? <laughs> no, that's a, that's a fact. Spider Man is a th uh, well, easily ten times uh, stronger wait. than Captain America. Andrew settled this. You can't say your opinion is a fact. It, <laughs> I can when I, I can when I research I'll this and I know what I'm Andrew, talking about. Fact check him. If he's right, I don't care. If he's wrong, I don't care. I just want to know. <laughs> okay. So you don't care either way. Yeah, I just want to know. Okay, I'll check him. While you're doing that, is the computer what still am, on? What am I checking? No. Who's, who's strong. stronger, Captain America? Who's stronger, stronger, Captain? In the comics. <laughs> All right. So the other picture, Alex, you want to look at? While Andrew's doing that. Yeah. This is what you're talking about. Yeah, the Hulk carrying the. This mountain. is the shitty art of it. Yeah, I don't like that one either. I don't know who does those new newer Here, look, ones. Keep looking at that. I'll get a better one. Keep talking about it, Alex. Uh, well, that just shows the Hulk lifting up an entire mountain range. And honestly, like, I, how do you even pick up something that big? Wouldn't it be like, you sure you can lift it up? But gamma then... radiation. <laughs> According to the official handbook of the Marvel Universe, Spider-Man can shoulder press about ten tons, while Captain America can shoulder press eight hundred pounds. So oh, Spidey fuck. is nice. twenty-five times stronger than Cap, or approximately the same difference between an adult and a three-year-old toddler. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that's sick. I that's still, that's kind of OP. I'm surprised you didn't know this, though, John. I don't really look in stats. I just watch. So, well, think about this. Spider-Man and his powers are based off a of spider, where spiders can lift up to, like, 20 times their own weight. And then when you... Uh, this is the cover that I like. That's so cool, actually. This is the cover I like. This is the original Secret Wars issue 4 uh, cover of that yeah. issue. That's sick. That's yeah. actually really and, cool. And, like, it looks a lot more aggressive, because, like, you don't even see the top or the sides of this. Yeah. And Hulk's just holding it down for everyone. <laughs> Beneath 150 billion tons stands the Hulk, and he's not happy. I kind of <laughs> want that as a poster, actually. Yeah, it's like, look, everyone's literally cowering, and he's just holding it. He must be pretty fucking mad. That's, yeah, that's so sick, though. Um, so how do they get back? Is this guy naked? Well, 
it turned. No, he is. Why no, is this guy is. naked? He's fucking She Hulk. Look, here's a little That's zoom. That's not She Hulk, Cody. <laughs> Isn't it? She Hulk's right here. Who's this? Oh, yeah, so that is She-Hulk. Yeah, what are you talking no, about? No, the guy that's the guy naked next guy. to She-Hulk. Are you blind? Yeah. I said she was, he was fucking She-Hulk. Oh, you pervert. Yeah, that's what Cody said. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, yeah maybe they that, were. That's my favorite cover from the Secret Wars. I think. Besides, I used to have the Spider-Man black suit one. This is yeah. covered. I had no idea this is actually where the origin of the black suit came from. Yeah, because they're in a different planet, right? So the space. Because uh, in this show, the the origin is the J. Jonah Jameson's son goes to space. Yeah. And the and it comes the, back down the, on the... the symbiote hooks onto him or the ship and comes down and gets him and then Spider Man. Yeah, that's what I thought. But that's not in the comics. Oh. <laughs> hmm. That's actually something I didn't. I had no idea. Is this something you want to talk about, Alex? That's literally when he gets the symbiote. Because when Spider Man rips his suit, he goes to like one of the alien, alien tech. And this machine, like, can copy your material of whatever you were wearing and then, like, recreate it. Yeah. And so when he did this, all that came out was, like, this black orb. And he's like, what is this? And it, it like, attaches to him. He's like, whoa, something's happening. And then he gets the symbiote suit. He didn't say that. He said, what the heck is that? And why is it making my spider sense tingle? That's true. Do you ever get spider sense, Alex, to make yes. you tingle? Yes. <laughs> you want me to show what's on the screen? Right now? What? Stuff has already been on the screen and it's over, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did have it up when you were talking about it earlier, like the cover and stuff. Yeah, that's fine. That's but, all that really mattered. Okay. So, I, I don't know if we're wrapping up right now, but We're wrapping actually, up the show, but I still got some things to say. I have a lot of things to say, too, actually. About the show, yeah. About the show. Yep. So, Same. yeah, they, uh, Spider-Man wins. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I'll just kind of fi- fall on... It's not just Spider-Man, it's all of yeah, the... It, it, it falls on the thing shooting Doc... Uh, Doctor Doom with the fucking ma- whatever you call it, materializer. The metabolizer. Metabolizer. Separator. Yeah. Helps uh, yeah. with his metabolism. And that was it. And the uh, Beyonder came back and was like, you... "Good job, Spidey. Good job. This is what I want you to do." Not, hey, you're still a fucking asshole. Like you did all this shit. Like what the hell, you weird fucking saw motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's kind right? of true. They never, he never like fixed the planet. He just was like, "You saved these well, people." Well, he, t- yeah. he I mean, you guess he can't really do much. No, no, no. Too powerful. Everything dude. went back to normal. No. No, I'm saying he didn't show the planet, but he said, you guys have been gone for a year, but when you go back to your planet, everything's going <laughs> oh, back to normal. Oh, yeah, he returned time. He, 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 yeah, you're right, you're right, you're yeah. right. So everything went back to normal. That was uh, just like a game. What I wanted to mention earlier, too, was that the episode, uh, the first part, uh, uh, we'll talk about three parts, but the first part ends with basically Spider-Man, I think it's Spider-Man having a conversation with the lizard, and he was saying how he wants to write all this down so that people don't know this was this. Because once this happens... Record like, it. Yeah. yeah, so it's like... It's just kind of funny, the idea of, like, Spider-Man coming to this planet with all these heroes and basically saving the, the whole planet. And, like, having this, like, book that he wrote down and all these things that he did to, like, save it. And then them not knowing about it. And it's just, like, they have this, uh, like I said before, genesis of, like, yeah. you know, Spider-Man came down and saved their whole planet. <laughs> I don't know. It's just funny. That is pretty funny. I always like it when they say, like, the title is, like, I'm going to record this so this is in the Secret Wars. Yeah. <laughs> they said the thing. They said it. They set the thing. They set the thing. thing. Yeah, That's but one things I, one of the things I learned while I was looking up shit for the show was that one of the producers or writers or something, he requested getting every Spider-Man comic ever made to that point, which was probably like 96, 95. Or, oh, That's no, it was at the beginning of the show, so it would have been 94. Oh, you've seen the show. For the whole show. Oh. And they're like, well, we can give you like issues of the ones we want you to do. He's like, no, my whole my whole crew needs all the comics. <laughs> so they, like, they all just shared like every comic for 30 years of Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. So that's what's cool 90s, about this show, yeah. though, because they like it's a lot of a lot of the stuff you see in the show is stuff that you just you don't see in Spider-Man stuff, like that they did in the comics. Like the, you guys don't know who Alistair Smythe is besides this show, right? Yeah, uh, the cyber spiders aren't really in anything besides like the Andrew Garfield movie game. <laughs> like, there's not much that you see from this shit. Like, there's when have you seen Hydro Man in anything? He's in the show. They try to make him like a. Elemental or whatever. Like, I feel like X-Men was the better show, but Spider-Man had the most Marvel hero cameos. Like Daredevil. Daredevil, Kingpin, Shocker, Hobgoblin, Green Goblin, everyone. Not even, like... Yeah, like I said, this is a show that got me into Spider-Man. Like, yeah, right? me too. This was like, what got me into Spider-Man. Yeah, it was 94, right? So I would have been two years old, but it was what, on for, yeah. like... You guys didn't like the 2000 version that they came up with? I'd like most Spider-Man uh, By 2000s, I was just like, that was now the they're releasing one. fucking live-action movies? No, no, no. He's talking about the MTV show that was, like, computer animated. Was it early 2000, though? It came out after the first Tobey Maguire movie. Oh, okay, well... 
I still have the movies to look forward to, I guess. And the video games and comics and... Video games are dope. I think, yeah. like... You know what's strange, though? Is like, everyone always, like, agrees that Spider-Man 2 for the PS2 was, like, awesome. one of the best Spider-Man games. That's and good. then, like, they just couldn't get it right after that. It's like, how do you, like, not get it right I mean, when you Spider-Man got... Spider-Man was good. Yeah, yeah the new ones are good. No, like... Uh, I kind of want to go back on something. Did you just say no? One minute. What? No, Ultimate. The only good Spider-Man games were like... The new ones. The Insomniac one. Yeah, those are good. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, I thought you said no. No, 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 no. Ultimate Spider-Man was dope, too. Ultimate, right? That's another good one. Ultimate, Ultimate Spider-Man Spider-Man was... Ultimate Spider-Man's dope on PS2, Xbox, I remember. GameCube. I remember seeing the trailer for Web of Shadows, and that looked so... That game was good. That show looked... It, I mean... I, it's I, unplayable almost now because of the graphics, but when it came out... Oh my god, I lost my mind. <laughs> There's a part where Spider-Man fights Wolverine, but okay, so you've played Web Shadows? I, I haven't P- gotten around to PS3 it. PS3 and Xbox 360 era. So like the whole city's being taken over by symbiotes and like everyone's just becoming like a version of Venom. And like the, in the whole thing, like Wolverine's kind of like, there's scenes where like he coaches him to like how to deal with all this and like what to do. But then it's like nighttime and Wolverine's like, meet me at the church. And like Wolverine doesn't. Meet <laughs> <laughs> me, me at right. the church after school. <laughs> it's going down, bitch. <laughs> Pretty much, because like, the church bump. Because he gets there. Andrew, can you do one thing for me? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I've never done anything for you, and I never will. <laughs> Fuck you. Sick. Can you look up Web of Shadows? Uh, <laughs> yeah, sim- symbiote this. Wolverine. Because he like I literally that was my bump. that was my screensaver for like two years on my computer. That was so fucking good. Like, I remember I, I had some friends I over when I was, got to that part, and I was like, oh, 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 oh bro, bro. Because, like, you don't know. Back then, like, you don't, like, YouTube was a thing, but, like, I wasn't searching, like, game f- shit that was going yeah. on. Like, I had to watch the trailers for games. What am I searching in? Uh, Wolverine, Web of Shadows, Wolverine, Symbiote. Yeah, there's certain things you see that you just kind of have a... I have those other, I have the other games that are kind of in, they're not linked, but, like, that that company made. Like, what was it, uh, Spider-Man uh, in Time or something? Remember, it was like Spider-Man Noir, classic Spider-Man, normal Spider-Man, and 2099. You remember that one? Like, you go to different times. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, then there was, was like, sh- I think that was Shattered Dimensions. Oh, yeah, yeah that's what that was. I've played those, but... to play with Hamza not too long ago? Yeah, we did. And we were, like, laughing how kind of bad it was. You just want a picture? Or yeah, the yeah. camera was really awful or something? Yeah, it was hard, because remember, I was crawling on a ceiling at something. Yeah. That's not through. a picture. Oh, well, that's Alex. Uh, can we actually play this? This is my probably the coolest trailer I've ever seen for a Spider-Man game ever. I really wanted to buy. Is this it. what you're talking about, the Wolverine thing? No, this is the trailer for the game. Oh. We'll, we'll it shows show. Wolverine in it too. Well, I wanted. To, but I, I want to see that. Yeah, Andrew's getting up the. Because they had some. I remember at the time they had like <laughs> at the time some. Look how cool that looks. Like to me. Wait, what is at the time? Wolverine? This is dope. That's Wolverine Venom. That's right. so badass. Yeah, that actually. looks sick as fuck. Like honestly, you got it up. Yeah. Oh fuck. Like you fight him like a church. <laughs> there was a <laughs> what, what, what were the villains? There was a symbio, bro. black cat, symbio, scared, Phil Vulture, <laughs> and symbio. He was scared. He's like, meet He's me at the church. It's going. Andrew, down. we're gonna play a video. Okay. The Web of Shadows trailer. It's, right now, I love yeah, this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to get back into the, this. Is for PS2, PS3, and Xbox E and PS2. It came out on. It was like a dumbed down version of this. Oh, okay. I think. This is it was where like Web of Shadows, from. friend or foe. It was like a whole different story too. Yeah. Well, look, this is what you had to fight. Holy fuck! Yeah, that's pretty cool. Jesus Christ! I kind of like, like. It's like yeah. the dog Fluffy from yeah, I feel like Harry Potter. Could, yeah. yeah. I mean, they probably won't, but they should. <sighs> it sucks because this game had like terrible reviews, and it's like it had. Did so it have terrible reviews? It has terrible. Literally, it's, the day it got out, like, I yeah. walked from my house to, to come see Mall. Oh, yeah. It has, yeah, it's got like really bad reviews, but like it sucks because it's like it looks so cool. I think what what was terrible. Are you sure it's this one got bad reviews? Because yes. the other two that came after this were not the greatest. And Shattered yeah. Dimensions was like the okay-ish one. This one had bad reviews because no one liked the gameplay. No one liked the voice acting. This is actually has the, the voice worst. acting doesn't ha- isn't that this good. has the worst voice acting. Yeah, I yeah. saw. I heard the voice acting. It's actually terrible. I remember playing it in like the first scene or whatever. You like you're talking to Mary Jane and it's horrible. Yeah, Luke Cage is in this. They never do that anymore. They want. I want more Luke Cage. I love Luke Cage. I miss that Netflix show so much. I mean, can we watch it still? Did they take it down yet or no? No, like they didn't take it down. Okay, I, don't think. I, I love that show so much. I want, oh yeah. <laughs> you wanna, oh, yeah. oh, oh yeah. fuck yeah! I, I feel like I just want to keep talking about all the Netflix. Sh- like the only one that I really like the most is the Luke Cage, Jessica and Jones, well, season Daredevil. One Daredevil one's so fucking cool. I love them all. Those aren't all gonna be in the MCU. There's though. rumors that there's rumors that Matt Murdock, Daredevil from the Netflix show, it might be Spider Man's lawyer in the next movie. <gasps> and there's rumors. There's more rumors. There's like. <gasps> There's more like concrete rumors, I guess, that that kingpin's gonna be in the Marvel universe. 
<gasps> I mean, I'm down. He smashed that guy's head in with a car when he was closing his head. Repeatedly. Oh, that, remember the first time we watched that, Alex? Yes. We all would, like, this was when we all had, like, part-time jobs or no jobs, so we would literally just watch all this shit together. Yeah. The good old days. And, like, Daredevil came out. And, oh, fuck. Back when you were living in Guy's basement? No, like, it was what, the like Ford ben apartment. Affleck? No, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking... No, it was... I don't, I don't watch that. I actually kind of watched that one. And that, like, literally, there's a scene with Kingpin. Kingpin. He puts someone's head in the car door oh. and just kills him. I think I Like, literally that, smashes yeah. his head with the car door. Kingpin's... What do you think of that, cool. Andrew? It's dope. <laughs> yeah, he's not wrong. I... Here's what you, I got a question for you guys. Do you when when was that movie made? I, sorry, okay. Daredevil was the oh the show the show oh, on okay, Netflix. Okay. Yeah. I'll throw you off there, sorry, buddy. Sorry, go ahead, Alex. Here's what I want to know. I feel like they are. I don't know if it's been announced because I like I had no idea that there was going to be like a Ant Man movie and a new Captain Doctor Strange movie. But I feel like if they haven't announced this already, I hundred percent think there's going to be a secret Marvel Secret Wars movie. Well, no, there's the the Secret Invasion is pretty much probably going to be next. That's what they're setting up with the scrolls, I think, scrolls or whatever. I just, they have all these characters already established. Like, I forgot what that w one lady that was in the uh, WandaVision, she has, like, new superpowers. She, yeah, she's a f f what, photon or something Yeah, now? photon. And she is actually really strong because she can absorb any kind of, like, powers and she can just add it onto herself. Yeah. She and uh, Conqueror, uh, Kang, Kang the Conqueror was actually in Secret Wars. And I feel like all these characters are almost like, you know, they're released, they're coming out with all these characters that are going to take part, that were that took part in the comics, and I just feel like it's per, it's a perfect time for, like, uh... Yeah, but you also got to... I know you're going to say Secret Wars, right? Well, I mean, that's why I think is that they're going to be... This is probably going to be a... You also got to remember that there's, like, literally hundreds of things like Secret Wars they can do, where it, they're all together. It's very the true, comics. yeah. Secret Invasion, Secret Wars, Secret Wars 2, Secret Wars Shitty. Which one's the bad one you said? The one that came out like probably. Five Why was it years bad? Why do you not like that one? It just wasn't that good. I don't remember much from it. I just remember reading the first one and being like, "Nah." Which one's the one yeah. where like the two Earths are colliding and whoever? That one. That one. That's the bad one. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I thought it was kind of neat. But like yeah. I remember reading that like sales were up on the first one, and then the second one came out. It's like no one's really buying this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, right? Yeah, that's really good. You never want your people to buy stuff. Fuck people. Yeah. Yeah. All of them. So this video's kind of just turned into what Spider-Man means to us. It's yeah. everything. I it's feel like all everything. of us have a deep connection with Spider-Man. I mean, whenever I think of Spider-Man's voice, I think of Chris, Cody. Uh, Christopher uh, oh, Speaking of, was it Christopher what? Ba Christopher Barnes? You know what else he was? What? Don't answer, because I want to say it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the answer. The first, I'll say the funny one first. You guys ever watched the Brady Bunch, like, kind of like spoof movies from the 90s that were like kind of funny it was like the Brady Bunch in the 90s mm -mm. it was no. like them if they were Sounds like a they're John still thing. the characters from the 70s definitely a John thing well, he, yeah it is <laughs> <laughs> well he played Greg Brady in that and he's also Prince Eric in The Little Mermaid oh nice yeah like, I, and he's I mean play, he's played, kind of funny you mentioned that is that I mentioned seeing him the animated version of him and then seeing that it was like Tom McGuire, I was like, well, that's not, a, that's not a picture of Peter Parker looking like, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Seth, still sweating. He's not even a cartoon. Yeah. Mom, he's, not ripped. he's not ripped like he is. <laughs> I just, yeah. he, he's amazing. I love his voice so much. He's, he's done other things. Like, he's voiced Spider-Man again and other things. I'm not 100% sure, but he might have been the voice in Web of Shadows of Spider-Man. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just going off memory alone. It, I mean, we just heard it. I don't think it's... He didn't that. talk in that whole trailer. That yeah, trailer was just piano, wasn't no, it? No, that was him. I mean, I didn't remember What happened anyone. to my city and its villains oh, yeah, and yeah, its yeah, heroes? Yeah, that yeah, was literally right. Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah, it is. We can. I have a clip that's actually my favorite from like his performance of like, his screaming, the one with Shocker. This is when he got the symbiote suit. He's like, you know, mad with power. He thought that Shocker was the one that killed Uncle Ben. And so when he found out, he's like really hot on his trail. Andrew, you got the thing up? No, not yet. Can you get? Yeah, you gotta watch this one. Oh, Can you get me up, Andrew? Yeah, you're up. Always. Is this in the Discord? Nope. Well, can can you? Put it, it is in the Discord. It, oh. Alex sent it in a way I couldn't. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. If I just want need the link, that's all. What do you got to say about this? Yeah, what's why is this your favorite, Alex? Cody seems to know what the point just was. Just because he's being crazy? Yes. No, I get it. I just oh, wanted you to know. Listen had to his voice. Listen to it. No, I knew what you were talking about. I just didn't know if you had something to say about it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, I left it playing because I accidentally put it on repeat. <laughs> wow. I'm just going to have a fucking nightmare. I'm, glad, I'm glad you got yeah. it, Cody. Yeah, on that note. <laughs> That's it? Do you, you got nothing? Wait, mm -hmm. what? We're done with, like that? Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Cody, Spider-Man's your hero. 
What is Spider-Man? You said he's your god. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say, Cody. John, in our first episode, yeah, or second episode, Mm -hmm. went through his holy trinity. Oh yeah, his holy trinity. Maybe it was a lost episode. I don't know. But Alphonse and Et. Yeah, that's on the Goofy movie, I think. No, no, no. Extremely Goofy. It was, was one it? We were, I think it was one we were talking uh, about Elf, you, probably, right? Uh, you mentioned Alex. You, no, Alex you asked mentioned you. that one, too. Yeah, yeah, so we're good. It's out there still. Who's your whole eternity, Cody? Doesn't yes. have to just be Marvel. Um, Spider-Man. Obviously. Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Ooh, what, ver- <laughs> what version of Donkey Kong? The N64 one. Where Whatever goes. one. Though. No, the cartoon or the oh, games? Man. Cover you with my creek coconut cream pie. Classic Donkey um, Kong. He says I feel like there's a don't third. look at him like that. Uh, I, I didn't look at anyone <laughs> like anything. What was your third? Um, Say me. Say me. You don't know. You're kidding me. I, no, I think it's a holy duo. No, that's probably a third one. I just I don't know why. It's well, Alex, say yours, and then Cody will think of the third one. Spider Man, Luke Skywalker, and Captain America. You're not even American. Nice, Captain America. <laughs> what about you? I'm probably gonna redo mine. You're gonna redo yours? Like as a hero version. Oh, like I wasn't version. gonna do a hero version. Well, just I'll just do general. another one then. Why? You maybe, can only have one holy. Maybe I'll trinity. make it a Charizard. A holy six. Uh, <laughs> That's your third. <laughs> sure. I do a holy six. A holy six. I'm just thinking. Yeah, like, holy was, shit. Uh, holy, holy six. six. <laughs> you know. All right. Six is never the holy number, bud. Yeah, I know. The way, the way I live, it is. <laughs> okay. okay. My three. My holy trinity. Yeah. Nicole watches this. Uh, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. Um, Homer. Yeah, I was gonna say that actually it's instead of Charizard. <laughs> I'm going uh I'm going Scooby Doo. Nice, nice. Good one. And Tommy from Rugrats. Nice. That's solid. Yeah. If I you if know, I had I'm to go be, through, I'm like, the, if I'm gonna be sleeping in the middle of the night and I'll be like, Oh fuck, I forgot and then I'll have to like tell you what I sleep <laughs> to. Just melt it in. Yeah. yeah. Just dub it over. It's definitely some yeah. So my next, deep cuts. my next six or next three, Bobby Hill. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Come on, come on. Uh, Bobby Batman. Hill, Spider-Man, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I would have to put Dale Gribble in there too. Yeah. yeah. Actually, fuck it. You know, I'm, take, I'm gonna take out Captain America and put Batman in there. I was kind of not sure. Because like, at the, I know we're talking about Spider-Man, but like at this time in my childhood, Spider-Man, Batman. Those two shows of what formed me, who I am today. Yeah. This fat nerd in the basement. Yeah, I watched a lot of <laughs> Batman. That anime, Batman Beyond. Whew. Yeah, I was I was hooked on all the Batman. I like the Superman cartoon that was like the same people that made the Batman one. It was around the same time. Yeah, it was pretty dope. How impor- I I always hated. Sorry, I always oh, hated Superman talking. though because he's like he's so, so OP. Yeah. yeah, I just like the the, the cartoon because like the Spider Man one and like the Batman cartoon, they bring in everyone because you got fucking you need years of material so like. Let's take out this weird character no one remembers and make him fucking badass. What were you going to say, Alex? Uh, I was going to say, like, I, I kind of agree with you with the Superman part where it's just like, he he's just like kind of like has like boring. He's like, it's not just that, but he's like supposed to be like this good guy, like, you know, this Boy Scout. But then like he has less restraint than like Batman does because Superman, like, if he gets really angry, he will possibly potentially kill the person. Crush someone's head. Yeah. Like this like isn't just odd. this isn't yeah. just like movie. This is just like every moment where like someone kind of threatened Mary Jane. He will literally like Mary Jane Lois Lois Lane. Lois Lane. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he will murder you if you so much like try to touch her or something like that. Like and it's kind of scary. That's why I don't think of him as like a. He is a good hero. Like he's an amazing. He does care about everyone, obviously. But like he will. He he's more likely to turn than any other hero. I think too. Like Mister Steal Your Girl. You know, Superman. Yeah. Batman is just like he has that code and he will literally give up his own like life just to follow that code pretty much like he grew Batman up Batman to- fucks though yeah he does he does fuck Talia he- al Ghul <laughs> he, also, he also eats oh the- we showed that in an episode before we that did where he went down on little old cat woman's oh cat oh my god this again <laughs> little cat woman's cat when you say it like that it sounds Sorry. real bad cat woman's vagina <laughs> there you go much much more anatomically <laughs> correct do you think he uh Went a little more south, maybe did ask the mouth. 
You think Batman's an ass to mouth kind of guy? Tune in for our next comic. <laughs> Batman goes ass to mouth. With the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Twilight Zone, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> This is my private domicile and I will not be harassed. I feel like Bitch. Batman would be the guy from Fifty Shades of Grey if the comics were for more Jesus. adults. Jesus. He's in anytime you see him like trying to get with someone, not in the cartoons or anything, but in the comics, he's freaky. I bet you can find some fanfic. On it. I'll do that when you guys leave. <laughs> there you go. Your night's booked. And on that note, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired, man. D -d 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 DJ Basement out out of here. Wait, wait. Clawing time. D -d 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 DJ Basement out of this bitch. Boom, boom, boom.